All for one, the demon lord of terror, the greatest evil the world has ever seen has finally been defeated. Shigaraki was finally able to obtain what he needed to pass on. Peace and a paranormal liberation front has finally been quelled. With all of these questions answered, that one new one pops up. What's next for our heroes? Yo everybody, it's your boy King of Chaos here to bring you my Hero Academia Chapter 424. If you love my Hero Academia, help us go beyond plus ultra, smash that like goal of 100 likes on this video. Thank you all so much for the love and support throughout the series, and be on the lookout for that chaos code word of the day. The scene takes place a couple days after the Great Battle. In the United States of America, Washington State, we have a news broadcaster discussing the weather. As you can see, the whole country is being blessed with clear skies. This past week was a bit chaotic, full of ups and downs. <laughs> I know that of all people. But I want to apologize for being so far off the mark about my forecast. Now you got the, the producer in the background hoping that she doesn't say anything too crazy, no political statements. I love how she wasn't even fired for that. You know, huge shout out to the USA for pretending that they weren't going to kick her out of her job for doing something off script, but whatever. She goes on to state that, you should be careful when doing the laundry since the wind is pretty strong. Now that's symbolism saying that although things are over, the, the energy behind them, the momentum, the force, it hasn't concluded. This will not be the end of my hero academia. I'm pretty confident on it based off of what we're seeing here in this chapter. All thanks to the gusts from that day. After that colossal battle, how will our world continue? We then get a couple heroes working on the restoration efforts of the city. Hey, send that my way. This is the Egyptian hero we got uh, from the My Hero Academia, I believe it was season seven, when we were looking at Stars and Stripes fight against Shigaraki. And then of course we got Cementos saying thanks a bunch because they're gonna be helping together. Whatever change may come, I'll continue with my forecast. She continues on to say. Our houses are back up. It just shot up like bamboo. The reconstruction project, which hadn't started even after the battle with Jakku, has been making great progress. After the war, many heroes from around the world started from the US and then from other countries have been giving us plenty of aid. After sitting on the sidelines and watching you fight, I had to do something. That's what the lion guy says. I think that's the Russian one. Um, the inspection agency sent us the plan. Now all we gotta do is build it accordingly. We also checked the building's standards act. But then he's like, okay, Mr. 3D printer hero. If this restoration taking place was before the paranormal conference quirks, it would have taken over 10 years. The narrator goes on to state that with all these quirks combined, we can be sure that in no time, and we're cut immediately to what looks like Mr. Club Penguin, uh, it won't be go back to how it was. And we see Bakugo, his family, and a doctor inside of the hospital. The surgery that helped, but it won't get his arms any better than this. We'll have to keep an eye on him, but we did everything that we could. By putting one thing on top of the other, we somehow were able to manage to keep its shape. But I can't say for sure if it'll ever move again, even after rehab. If you want to continue being a hero, I'd suggest prosthetics like Mirko's. <laughs> then we get a cut back to before the war, Mirko's on saying, rehab, cut the crap. Just cut off my arms and I'll go fight. He's like, nah, I'm good. My work comes from the palm of my hand. And then they're like, Katsuki. Besides, he didn't have any to begin with. So I'll kick this rehab's ass no matter how hard it is. You still can't do any heavy training. He's like, huh? I'm more worried about your heart. If an headshot hadn't stitched it and performed CPR, you would have died. I don't even know how you managed to keep fighting. And on top of that, I can't wrap my head around why you traveled so many kilometers. How does that make any sense? It's evident that it wants you to keep living. For now, you focus on res resting. You're awake? We get a picture of All Might and Deku in the same hospital bed. I love that. To think we'd share a room, All Might, that's got to be Sukachi's coons doing. He's like, oh, it's easier to guard and only so many rooms available too. He's like, what about your body, All Might? The doctor said he's never seen so many bolts. <laughs> I gotta say, All Might was already walking around like a corpse at this point. Everyone's always talking about Sasuke from Naruto, or I guess the Boruto era, how he's missing his eye, his arm and everything. But All Might really has gone through it, not having a stomach. And now I don't even know how he's gonna be able to walk. Hopefully he has a wife somewhere hidden that we don't know about to take care of him. Or a husband, whatever. What about you, young Midoriya? <laughs> Asking about his partner situation. Ochaku versus Katsu Bakugo. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm starting to feel my arms again. In the end, I couldn't save Tenko's life though. Even after I reached my hand and his hatred was gone, Tenko continued to be the leader of the League of Villains until the end. Dang, and it shows that when they punched each other that they connected. That's kind of beautiful. As someone who also had a near-death experience, let me ask you this. How was his face at the final moment? You already destroyed it. That will depend on what you guys will do from now on. So you better do your best. He's remembering those final intimate private words he had with them. If you saw, if what you saw wasn't a crying boy, then I think his heart was saved after all. 
I look, I ain't gonna lie, I'm happy that Shigaraki got packed up. Uh, I'm just not happy that Shigaraki uh, got out with the whole, oh, I'm a hero at the end approach. Didn't like that. But I do appreciate that he somewhat stuck to his convictions. It just feels like Horikoshi was going everywhere with this one, you know? You got people who are saying that he should have stayed true to convictions. People say he should have turned a new leaf. People say he should have lived. I'm okay with any of those, but I just feel like the combination of all of them is bad. He's like, you passed it on to him, right? It must have reached him. He's like, yes, but I can still feel some of the embers inside of me. And then Bakugo pops in the door immediately, pissed off because he sees that they're in there, All Might and Deku, away from him, of course. He's like, why are you up and moving around? Mom's lecturing him as usual. Uh, Kachan, I'm glad you're safe. I'm so sorry, All Might. This kid was pretty worried about you. Sorry, Izuku-kun. The embers, huh? So that means you'll be quirkless? Yeah, but I was born without a quirk to begin with, so I'm not really sad. I transferred it on my own volition. I'm actually pretty happy to go. I got to live this dream. And Bakugo, he's hurt here. He, he remembers all the awful things he said. He's like, what dirty tricks did you use? A quirkless guy like you would never pass the exam. And then he, each of these moments are hitting him. So I'll go even higher. That's my duty. Don't you dare let, I won't dare let you surpass me, <laughs> Izuku. All these moments and Bakugo starts crying. He says, huh? He's like, no way. And Deku's eyes just go out of his head. He's like, you're crying? He's like, no, huh? I just, seriously, just how I've been treating you until now. <laughs> I just thought that we would keep competing and stuff for a while somehow. I don't know. He's like, stop. That ain't even like you, bro. Bakugo, you going out weak. It's like, hey, I still got the embers. My body's all messed up and my mental state is a bit off. You got stronger, both of you. You've changed a lot since the day I met you. And young Midoriya, that day, when you ran off, you became my greatest hero, but now you're the one who makes people stand up again. That means you're the greatest hero to everyone else too. And Yon Bakugo, it's thanks to you that I got the opportunity to tell you both all of this. You are also the greatest hero. Thank you so much. When I was a kid, I thought that, that peace came back immediately after the war was over, but our story won't end just yet until we get to our bright future we've been fighting for. We'll go beyond plus ultra. Number 424, Epilogue, the new everyday life that awaits them. End of chapter, y'all. Is this the end of My Hero Academia? I, I, I don't know, we got Deku. Half his hair, half his face is gone. It looks like he's got bangs and a scar on the side of his head. Kind of cool. But we also see that this is supposed to be them continuing where they left off of, you know, with the opening chapter of him walking to My Hero Academia. So what do you guys think then overall of the chapter? I'm going to give you my thoughts real quick on a couple of things. One, I think the fact that uh, Tenko, as people are calling him, Shigaraki, is t Shigaraki could have went out without betraying his morals. I don't really care about people's sad, tragic anime backstories within the story when you go this far deep. So to me, it, it doesn't really make sense that they go with this milquetoast half approach of Deku didn't save him, but Deku kind of saved him. I don't know. It's also saying that Deku has the embers left over from here, but I'm not sure if that's actually the translation or not. So it begs two questions I'm going to leave both of you with uh, for the chapter. Also, I got to throw in that chaos code word of the day. Uh, we're going to say end. That's what the chaos code word is going to be. E-N-D, end, as in the end of the series. I'm really hoping it's not, though. But here's the question. One, is this the end? Is Deku going to find some type of way to get his, power, his quirk back? Is Deku embers going to lead to him having one final moment we don't know about? Or is this going to actually be the end of My Hero Academia? Will they continue it on with a Boruto treatment? I don't know, but I do know that if you want to watch more My Hero Academia, or if you like my videos in general, check out the video that YouTube's recommending to you above. And as always, thank you all so much for watching.